I quite like this one. All the rest were rubbish by spastics, but this one's quite good. What's that all about, then? It's judgment Day, you know? Oh, yeah. What's that, then? Well, it's, you know, the final day on Earth. And mankind will be judged for all the crimes they've committed and, and that. Oh. And see who gets into heaven and who gets into hell and all that. Yeah. yeah. What's the other place? Purgatory. Purgatory. Purgatory's kind of like the in-betweeny one. You weren't really shit, but you weren't all that great either. Like Tottenham. Do you believe in all that stuff, Ken? Uh, Tottenham. The Last Judgment and the afterlife. And guilt and sins and hell and all that. Um. Oh. Um. I don't know. I don't know what I believe. The things you're taught as a child, they never really leave you, do they? So, like, I believe in trying to lead a good life. Like if there's an old lady carrying her shopping home. Well, I don't try and help her carry her shopping. I don't go that far, but I'll certainly hold the door open for her and that and let her go out before me. Yeah, and anyway, if you try to help her carry her shopping, she'd probably think you were just trying to lick her shopping. It's like this is the world we live in today. At the same time... <clears throat> You know, at the same time as trying to lead a good life, I have to reconcile myself with the fact that, yes, I have killed people. Not many people. Most of them are not very nice people. Apart from one person. Who's that? Uh, this fellow, Danny Alaban's brother. He's just trying to protect his brother. He's like you or I would. He's just a lollipop man. He came at me with a bottle. What are you going to do? Shot him down. Hmm. In my book, though, sorry, if someone comes at you with a bottle, that is a deadly weapon. He's got to take the consequences. I know that in my heart. I also know that he's just trying to protect his brother, you know. I know, but a bottle, that can kill you. It's a case of it's you or him. If he come at you with his bare hands, that'd be different. I mean, that wouldn't have been fair. Well, technically, your bare hands can kill somebody, too. They can be deadly weapons, too. I mean, what if you knew karate, say? You said he was a lollipop man. He was a lollipop man. What's a lollipop man doing now in fucking karate? I'm just saying. How old is he? About 50. Well, what's a 50-year-old lollipop man doing on fucking karate? What was he, a Chinese lollipop man? Jesus, Ken. I'm trying to talk about... I know what you're trying to talk about. You killed a little boy. You keep bringing up a fucking lollipop man. You didn't mean to kill a little boy. I know I didn't mean to. But because of the choices I made and the course that I put into action, the little boy isn't here anymore. And he'll never be here again. I mean, here in the world, not here in Belgium. Well, he'll never be here in Belgium either, will he? I mean, he might have wanted to come here when he got older. I don't know why. And that's all because of me. He's dead because of me. And I'm trying to... I'm trying to get my head around it, but I can't. I will always have killed that little boy. And that ain't ever going away. Ever. Unless... Maybe I go away. Don't even think like that. <laughs> 